Hello, my name is Count Wovenstein and I'm going to demonstrate a technique that I learned for doing cool things with images while I was uh, watching some data bending documentaries. And data bending is kind of a digital version of circuit bending. I uh, prefer it to circuit bending for no other reason than because I am a complete fucking disaster with a soldering iron. Um, I've got no hand-eye coordination whatsoever um, and I end up with solder everywhere and breathing it all in and just wrecking all the components of what I'm working on but um, data bending I uh, find fun and uh, can get some cool results with it so I'm going to use a audio editing program called Audacity it's free, it's very simple it's um you can do cool stuff on it, you can do mixing on it, you can do recording with it and mastering but um, it might not have all the bells and whistles of like Pro Tools or Reaper but it is free and it's a fun thing to play around with but for the interest of this what it does that's cool is it lets you play around with raw data so to demonstrate this I've got a photo here of Madeline Klein um, engaged in a kind of moral and political protest seeming like she's an activist um, she's into environmental causes and uh, animal rights and she's also very pretty which doesn't hurt so uh, I'm going to have a play around with this image in Audacity um, so for the purposes of this to get the chase and stop waffling um, you want it to be an uncompressed uh, image file like a bitmap if you um, try doing it with um, compressed image files it doesn't work uh, so without further ado to import this into Audacity import it must be a raw data as seen here and um, there we are, mud one coin bitmap. Now, this has to be set to U law. Uh, the rest can be left in default. The Indian this um, doesn't have to be altered there. Um, you want it to be one channel mono. Uh, you don't need to change the sample rates here or offset and you want to import a hundred percent of the image now you can actually play this I would suggest doing it with the speakers turned quite low um, I probably am going to use this in an audio project at some point um, Sounds like a fun thing to play around with. But that's by the by for the moment. So um, let's try and take a chunk of this image and you must stay away from the beginning and the end. The end has header files that are needed to read the image. Um, and sometimes the end of the file can have information that's important as well um, often uh, 
MSB's and LSB's conductors, um, switches, um, for certain file formats, I'm not too big up in how they're used in image files, but, um, I know, for example, in MIDI files are used as a non-off switch. Uh, anyway, let's, for fun, try adding an effect. So, I'm going to put a reverb on here. Apply it. Uh, one thing you can't actually do with this process is forward engineer it. Um, the only way you're really going to know how it's going to turn out is to try it. So, keep a copy of your original image that you don't uh, mess around with. So, um, export audio. And again, this needs to be other uncompressed files. It needs to be set to raw data headerless and it needs to be UR encoding and let's try exporting that and see what happens so I'm going to have my computer will kindly cooperate change this file format wildcard pattern to BMP and let's see what that's done so there you can see it's added some um, some interesting stuff there uh, now you can see there it works horizontally across a file so say you want something to go um, the other way uh, up and down what you can do is just um, go into your favourite image editor and um, see about rotating the entire file and I'll save that I'll save it as Madeline Queen 2 because it's not going to like saving over the original file because it's still open in Audacity here. Um, so let's get short of that one and import. Uh, same thing. Uh, so we want the one on the desktop, um, which I called the model window 2. And there she is. And why is it up? Oh, of course, because I uh, fucked up. So, import is raw data. Don't try to do what I did just there and open it as an audio file. Default Indian, that's you are um, all good. And um, let's see. Weird sounds there. Uh, so let's try taking a section. Um, or to uh, well, let's, let's try a different effect this time. Let's see. If I can add a uh, flanger or something, um, I'm sure I've got a flanger in here somewhere. Distortion modulation, there's a phaser. Um, we've got a blue cut flanger, I know that much. Uh, let's try it in mono. What we got here. 
deep creeping resonator, classic flange, boing, arpeggio, let's see what that does to that, whoosh, right so let's try, export other than compressed, raw, headerless, UR, entire project, export, and um, let's just move mod one load two out of the way and rename that to mod one two dot BMP and what we got um, so let's we'll take that back and there you've got a vertical stripe now there's um there's a lot more you can do playing around with that um that's just two very quick edits um you can do things with like the effect basically the whole image as long as you stay away from the header but um, that can be a fun thing to do if you want to get effects that no one can just turn around and say you know you used such and such a photoshop plugin um, I think it's pretty cool and I intend to use it on um, one of my next video projects uh, seemingly it does work with uncompressed video files as well so um, that could be a fun thing to try out for glitches that are a bit outside your normal what you would do with the Adobe After Effects or Final Cut or whatever anyway have fun with it, call it a day there